Hey, how's it going folks? ET here with another iMovie tutorial. Today's tutorial, we're going to show you how to zoom using the Ken Burns effect. So we're going to need a piece of media. So let's grab this picture here and drag it into the timeline. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so you can kind of see it. And the time we have is about two and a half seconds. So let's make it a little bit bigger. Okay. So what you do is click on the actual piece of media. You're going to go to the cropping tool here. Next, you're going to look for the Ken Burns effect button here. Click on that. So what you're going to see is you're going to see a start and an end. So this is where the project, the, the movement in this project is going to start. And this is where it's going to end. So what I want to do is kind of focus on the wheel here. Okay. So what I want to do is start full screen, but the actual end where I want the video focus to, to finish on is going to be on that wheel. So let's go ahead and uh, minimize this rectangular shape here and it's going to be rectangle as it has to keep the aspect ratio of the video itself okay and be aware that you might lose a little resolution so if you have the opportunity to shoot the video in 4k it might help you a lot and then uh, export the video in like 1080p that way you'll get a really good resolution but if you don't don't worry about it. it's not that big a deal okay so now once you're finished go ahead and click on the check mark and we'll see actually what happens. Starting from the beginning, let's go ahead and play. Okay, so you can see we did lose a little bit of resolution here because that was shot at 1080p and I'm zooming in. So we lost a little bit of resolution, but if I wanted to, if I shot at 4K and then, but I made the project a 1080p project, we wouldn't lose very much resolution at all. So what you can do here is if you want it to be slower or faster, you can control the speed by the length of the clip itself. So if we shorten it in half, it should be double as fast. Okay, so let's go ahead and watch it. So let's make it only one second now. Let's check this out. And of course the opposite is true. If we want to make it really long, like 32 seconds. It's going to be the world's slowest transition. Let's make it a little bit shorter than that. There we go. And this is this is also a way how you can create really cool movies if you only have images. You can have it slowly panning left, right, up, down. So you can control the way it pans. So, Alrighty, and the last thing I'm going to show you here is if you want to make changes, just click on the actual clip itself. Go back to the, your cropping tool. And now if you want to make it maybe focus on... Let's just do the whole car itself. That should be good. Barely squeeze it in there. You can do that. And we'll go ahead and set that. Let's go ahead and watch it real quick. Well, there you go. That's it. I want to thank everybody for watching. And as usual, don't forget to subscribe. And we'll talk to you in the next one. Peace and aloha.